Good evening and welcome. This is uh, week four of five on hormones and you. And tonight, Patty and I are, this is Jackie McLaughlin, Young Living Platinum, and with me is Patty Abel, Young Living Gold. And tonight we're going to uh, go through a very detailed presentation on the hypothalamus, the pituitary and pineal glands. Let me just give you a heads up right up front. There's a lot of slides in this presentation and we are not going to go into all the detail on every slide, but we will go quickly. And if anyone has an interest in the uh, details, we will post a recording and you can go back and pause it and read the slides in detail. Uh, there's a lot of science in these slides and it would take us two hours to go through it all in depth. So you will have the recording if the information interests you enough to want to go back and take notes or whatnot. But we're just going to go through really quick and give you an idea about the power of not only these glands in the body, but what products can help support them. I just, just to kind of, um, cover what Jackie just mentioned, we will be going over the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, and the pituitary gland tonight, and you can see all of those are housed in our brain. Yay! And the hypothalamus is the first one we're going to talk about. It regulates the anterior or the front of the pituitary gland, which releases hormones that stimulate the other endocrine glands to release more hormones. So it literally controls our autonomic nervous system, which is really uh, very important for maintaining homeostasis. And oftentimes people get head injuries or concussions or even just a severe whiplash and can damage that hypothalamus. The, the hypothalamus is, it contains our thirst center, uh, the hunger center, it's the body's thermostat. Uh, so damage to our hypothalamus can uh, result in frequently result in water glucose or temperature imbalances. Like if you think about how many times that your body temperature might be off or your blood sugar might be off, uh, this can make sense. The hypothalamus also controls our pituitary gland, uh, which means it controls almost all the endocrine glands. Uh, because if you remember, the pituitary gland is the most important of our endocrine glands, it's referred to as the master gland, because um, it, you know, takes care of the thyroid, the adrenals, and all of our reproductive organs. It, it, the hypothalamus is also the site of our emotions and the effect our emotions have on our body, um, which is the effect of our emotions on our body is great. That's for sure. And it also uh, functions like a thermostat for temperature regulation in the body. It promotes cooling and sweating as well as panting. And when body temperatures decrease, this thermostat activates warming mechanisms like vasoconstriction, goosebumps, and shivering. And as you can see, it just shows here the hypothalamus and how it uh, connects to the rest of the body, um, how it affects glucose, insulin, um, all of our gut-derived hormones. Um, it's huge. And then we have our pituitary gland, which as you can see, literally speaks to everything in the body. And we're not going to go into this. We've done this in the other classes, but we just wanted to bring this slide up to remind you how important the pituitary gland is to every system in the body. <clears throat> and our, our posterior pituitary gland is attached to our hypothalamus. And the hormones secreted here uh, are originally from the hypothalamus, but it, this is where the hormones enter our bloodstream. Uh, the hypothalamus uh, also regulates our ADH release um, and senses the pressure in our other body fluids, so our oxytocin. Um, ADH and vasopressin. <clears throat> and again, uh, the anterior or the front of the pituitary gland uh, uh, has 
targets all these different glands, your liver, your thyroid, your reproductive organs, your mammary glands, the adrenal cortex. <clears throat> so you can see what a big player the pituitary gland is in the entire body. You can see all the different um, hormones that it, um, that it works on with either stimulating or suppressing the secretions in the body affecting, you know, our liver, um, our thyroid gland, you know, you, I'm sure you've heard TSH, HGH, it, those that, um, I know for me when we were trying to get pregnant, I heard FSH a lot, because um, it also works with our reproductive organs and um, the prolactin, our mammary glands, and our adrenal cortex. And uh, as again, just more details about the control of the secretion of these hormones um, based on the pituitary gland and how it affects these hormones. So as you can see, this is a very, very important gland in the body and is critical for balance throughout the body. And then going into our pineal gland. Um, you can see it here, it kind of sits at the, the back base of the brain. Um, it controls the melatonin levels, our circadian rhythm, and reproduction. So speaking of <clears throat> uh, how it affects our sleep, the, our melatonin controls the circadian rhythm, and this is part of our sleep process. So the melatonin levels peak at night and they decrease throughout the day when we're exposed to sunlight. And tryptophan, from which melatonin is derived, helps to regulate your circadian rhythm. So melatonin is considered a super antioxidant due to its ability to cross uh, the blood-brain barrier. And then cortisol, most of us are familiar with cortisol, the stress hormone, is partially regulated by melatonin. That's why getting a good night's sleep is very good for our cortisol levels. Our melatonin levels also naturally decrease with age, and that's why some older people will sleep less, um, even though they still need the same amount of sleep. And then our melatonin also works in the digestive tract to decrease the likelihood and severity of many symptoms associated with gastric ulcers and colitis. And then the culprits of low melatonin levels are things like drinking too much alcohol, too much vitamin B12 that's not processed in the body, caffeine, anti-inflammatory meds, beta blocker meds, cortico cortico corticocoid, corticoid medication, I'll get that out, uh, cigarettes, antidepressants, as well as frequent stress. And I slow down and, and emphasize frequent stress because in our society today, everyone uh, is subjected to way too much stress on a daily basis. Uh, melatonin is a natural substance. And of course, since it helps us to sleep, we really should only take it at night. Um, and it's not addictive or habit forming. So again, as melatonin fluctuates, it peaks at nighttime, it decreases during the day, and the pineal be gland begins to produce that melatonin in the evening. And then we just see here, as we age, how the melatonin um, works. So as, you know, as we age, about um, early childhood, we peak. And then as we hit puberty, the melatonin actually begins to decline. Um, it continues to decline into our middle age and older, and you see a huge uh, decrease. Which really tracks when you think about it. With, with kids, uh, they like to sleep a lot when they're young and not so much later. <laughs> so now our hypothalamus, which is, you can see where it's located there in the diagram, Pineal is kind of at the back of the brain. The hypothalamus is more in the center. And it uh, has tremendous effects on all these other uh, glands in the body and is a big part of all.
this hormone stuff. We're not going to go into all of these, but again, if you want more detail, you can come back and pause the um, presentation. And you know, just as a reminder, we talked about this on some of the other uh, presentations we've done, but the things that we need to have a happy hormonal system is, of course, sunshine. That helps our vitamin D, our serotonin levels. Uh, good whole foods, uh, not processed foods, so lots of uh, veggies and fruits. Um, our supplements, which we'll go into, plenty of water. That's, I think, an area that a lot of us fall short of is getting our daily water intake in. And, you know, optimally, we should be getting half of our body weight in ounces of water a day. And then all of our minerals, enzymes, sleep and exercise is very important. And then we're going to start now talking about products that Young Living has that will support all these glands in the body. And dietary supplements is a big part of this. And the first one we'll start talking about is our master formula um, dietary supplement. And it is our um, full spectrum of multi-nutrients. Uh, it provides all of the premium vitamins, minerals, and uh, nutrients that we need to support our general health and well-being. Um, it also uh, supports, it has gut flora, um, supporting probate, bleh, excuse me, prebiotics, and helps neutralize the free radicals in the body. So it supports general health. It, again, like Patty said with the prebiotics, it supports the gut flora. It neutralizes the free radicals and includes those vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It's also vegetarian friendly. It has no preservatives, no artificial stimulants. Um, it's bovine and porcine free and has no artificial colors. So and it, it, it has the synergistic suspension isolation or SSI, which basically allows all the different ingredients to work synergistically together. And it separates potentially conflicting ingredients, which is really important because a lot of times when people take supplements, they'll be taking them at, at times when they conflict with one another and you're just sort of negating the effectiveness of them. So they've taken all that into consideration in the formulation of this particular supplement so that that doesn't happen. And it has a daily dose that's very convenient into one little plastic sachet. It has four capsules in it. The first two being our powdered capsule, which has all of our B vitamins, um, and then our minerals, our zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, and moly. Molybdenum. Thank you. <laughs> our liquid capsule, which is going to contain a lot of our essential oils, and also our fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K. And look at those essential oil blends, turmeric, cardamom, clove, fennel, ginger. Those are all amazing oils that are, um, many of them, our clove is like the highest oil as far as antioxidant level. And there's lots of digestive and everybody hears about all the benefits of turmeric nowadays. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, and then we have our caplets. Uh, that they are made with whole food ingredients. This is really important. These are not synthetically created vitamins in a lab. These are whole food nutrients. So it has broccoli, onion, camu camu, apple, tomato, acai, elderberry, carrot, mangosteen, black currant, raspberry, bilberry, kale, garlic, and more. And um, it uh, has vitamin C, calcium, potassium, choline, fruit. I'm not going to try to say that. And trace minerals. <laughs> and its activity is different than other multivitamins, um, especially when we start looking at the grouping of the B vitamins that are in the master formula. They're all certified organic food extracts that provide our vitamins B1, um, the thiamine, B2, the riboflavin, B3, B5, B6, and B9. 
Um, all the B vitamins are water soluble, so they're not stored in the body. Um, and they're quickly and easily uh, degraded by light medications and stress. Um, they're not, B vitamins in general, a lot of times are not consistently absorbed by all people. So that's just something to remember. So that's you know, good to know that these are um, specially formulated so that they are more easily absorb absorbable. And folate is also a dietary vitamin found in foods and folic acid is a th synthetic version of folate. So Young Living chose to go with a certified organic food derived folate instead of folic acid. And this has become very well known to be a really big deal. And most synthetic or most vitamins, even if they claim to be natural, uh, have folic acid as opposed to folate. So that's a big difference here. And then our vitamin D, um, you know, some great things to note on it is it's a vegan form of uh, VitaShine vitamin D3. And <clears throat> our exclusive vegan vitamin D3 comes from a special organic plant source called a lichen. Um, it's also certified vegan, non-GMO, plant-derived. It's free from sugar, wheat, gluten, and dairy products. Yes. Yay. A fair-skinned person with a full body exposure to the sun can synthesize up to 20,000 IU of vitamin D3 in 20 minutes. Vitamin D3 levels are low in at least 40% of people, possibly 70 to 80% of people with darker skin. And vitamin D3 supports cognitive function, supports healthy immune function, strong bones and healthy muscles, as well as healthy hormone function. And then one of my daily favorites, our family's daily favorites, is Ninja Red. Um, it is going to help support our overall health and wellness in every single, not only our hormonal systems and our endocrine system, but every single system in the body. It helps us uh, with energy. Uh, it's going to help our normal cellular function. And it contains many, many powerful antioxidants. Um, so it's going to support our, our whole body health and wellness, along with um, helping prevent oxidative stress. And it's great for vision. Yes. So a lot of people talk about sodium benzoate, and it, it, and it is added in high concentrations to a lot of products as a preservative. And it, when it is added as a synthetic type ingredient, it can be harmful to the body. So what... Ninja Red has a very tiny, minute portion of sodium benzoate, 0.00025%. Uh, and it naturally occurs in, in a variety of plants and foods such as cranberry, prunes, plums, cinnamon, clove, and apples. So it's naturally derived and it is not toxic as you might believe from other uh, studies that and, and things that have been printed on the internet about sodium benzoate. Yes, there are some that are synthetically created. And again, that's just like everything else synthetic. It's not a good thing. So for those that's not familiar with it, why in the world is it called Ningxia Red? It's because <laughs> it comes from the wolf berry, which comes from the Ningxia province of China. Um, and in Gary's, um, you know, travels, he found that um, that province was the best when it comes to the wolfberry. Uh, many other provinces traveled to that area uh, for that, that wolfberry. Uh, the other thing to note, and that might help you a little bit, is wolfberry is also known as a goji berry. So most of us know about gojis. But it contains all of the essential amino acids. It's also um, got a high protein content which is, you know, it's, it's a good thing to note. And it has a full variety of vitamins and minerals, uh, calcium, iron, selenium, um, vitamin C, keratin, diamond, riboflavin, lutein, lycopene, xenoxanthin. You know, Jackie mentioned the eyes, that lycopene and the xenoxanthin is what helps our eye health. It also has polysaccharides, potassium, 
zinc, and fiber. So it's one powerful little berry. And with Ningerette and the Master Formula together, when you take both of those, you're getting a total body infusion of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and food-based nutrition that will neutralize the free radicals, support the gut with prebiotics, and give you energy as well as help, you know, support eye health and total body wellness. It also helps prevent against oxidative stress and supports a uh, good cell function throughout the body. So those two products together are a great one-two punch for health and wellness. And then we have our multi-greens, which uh, is going to give you a boost of vitality and support a healthy circulatory system. If you look over at the supplemental facts, you'll see all of the amazing ingredients that are in the multi-greens. Um, it has choline, it has uh, bee pollen, barley, spirulina. So you see a lot of your green um, alfalfa, kelp. Also has a wonderful blend of essential oils in it, rosemary, lemon, lemongrass, melissa, um, and amino acid complex. And then just note here, it says if you have a slow metabolism to take three capsules two times daily, and if you have a fast metabolism, take four capsules once or twice daily. And it's best taken an hour before meals. And for sensitive stomachs, uh, take with meals. I even like taking this one. It's a capsule, so you, you can easily open it. I like to open it and put it in my smoothies. Awesome. And then we have our Super B. Uh, it's a comprehensive B uh, vitamin uh, supplement. It contains energy boosting B vitamins of 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12. It's a complete B vitamin profile and not only assists with energy levels, but supports the nervous system, maintains normal cardiovascular function, and helps with internal enzyme reactions, which is really important uh, because that's why some people don't process the B vitamins well. They need the enzymes. And it, with the new addition of B5, uh, Super B now can help with mood support. So that's really a great addition to the Super B. Nobody needs that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so MindWise. Uh, MindWise combines the exotic Sachi Inchi nut oil with our proprietary MindWise oil blend. So it's to help support a normal brain and heart function. So, you know, we already talked about how the hypothalamus, the pineal, the pituitary is all in the brain. So we need that brain support. Um, and it's harvested from the Peruvian Amazon. It's cold pressed and it is um, it's got a high percentage of omega-3 fatty acids. I like this oil to help carry some of my other essential oils into my body. Yeah, it's a fabulous supplement. It has medium chain triglycerides and the oils that are added to complete the, the Mind, Wild's, Mind Wise oil blend. Uh, the memory blend features Alcar, GPC, and bioidentical CoQ10, which is really important. A lot of CoQ10 supplements are not bioidentical. Therefore, the body cannot process it. So it's a waste of money. Uh, these ingredients have been studied for their beneficial health properties, and it has generous amounts of vitamin D3, again, and a unique delivery method that creates a premium supplement supporting normal memory function as well as overall cognitive and cardiovascular health. I drink this stuff and absolutely love it, and it tastes good, too. <laughs> it does. And then our sleep citric caps, if you're you know wanting to work on um, you know, weight management, these are great to take. They've got tons of fiber and uh, they just help us with managing uh, cetacean, which means just that helps decrease our appetite. Yeah. And, you know, hormone imbalance has a lot to do with weight issues. So this, this particular supplement is um, created to try to help, again, support those hormone balances in the body. Uh, then we have our MU Pro. I love this product. Uh, talk about your melatonin. Uh, this is a great product to take at night. It's a chewable. Um, it's been formulated for uh, exceptional immune support, and um, it helps 
uh, support sleep with the um, what is it melatonin <laughs> I just drew a blank <laughs> uh, it has the wolfberry polysaccharides and reishi mataki mushrooms as well as the agaricus blase mushroom which I'm not sure if I said that right but we all know mushrooms provide a lot of nutritional value and antioxidant support. So this also helps with the damaging effects of oxidative stress from those free radicals. And Imipro also provides zinc and selenium, which is also great for um, immune function. So, you know, as we're sleeping, supporting and uh, boosting our immune system. And again, just as a reminder, it delivers melatonin, which is going to encourage us to sleep and promote the body's natural sleep rhythms. And again, if you look at the ingredients, you can see what a fabulous support this is. And uh, it's a tasty, chewable, uh, tastes like um, wolfberries to me in a, cat, in a little chewable tablet that tastes really good and it, it really works well. And then our Ningxia Nitro, for those days that you just need a little uh, boost, uh, this gives you, uh, you know, just a little uh, nice boost of energy to help uh, your mental fitness along with your um, physical fitness. So it's going to help boost your energy and help pick you up. And it has a lot of botanical extracts, uh, the ribose, uh, Korean ginseng, uh, the, the little bit of natural caffeine comes from green tea extract, and of course it has our Ningxia wolfberry in it. It's also a great support for mind and body wellness. Uh, so use this when you're working out or, at, or if you have an afternoon slump and you just need a little pick me up. Um, it supports normal energy levels and alertness to help you with a busy day or a tough workout. And each box uh, has 14 of these little one ounce servings in it. And that's all you need. It's just incredibly powerful. And again, <clears throat> the ingredients in these products are going to help support the brain, which is going to affect how your body produces those hormones. And you know, since we're talking about things, uh, glands that are in the endocrine system, Indigize dietary supplement is going to help us uh, support our endocrine system and all of the, the areas of the endocrine system. You know, the hormones, the thyroid, the adrenals, the pituitary, and you know, this is a great support for those. You can see it has zinc and B6 in it. Um, it's uh, the proprietary blend has ashwagandha root, uh, which is great for our endocrine system. Uh, Mora palma, mm -hmm. don't don't quote me on that one. <laughs> uh, and a lot of other black pepper. Um, and then all of these wonderful essential oils, ginger, which is great for, you know, our digestive system and myrrh and cassia, clary sage, which is great for the, the, the hormones and Canadian flea vein are all some of the wonderful essential oils that's in this formula. It also has DHEA in it. And then we have one of my favorites, which is thyromin. Uh, this is a special uh, porcine glandular extract and herbs and amino acids, minerals, and therapeutic grade essential oils, perfectly balanced to maximize nutritional support for healthy thyroid function. Your thyroid gland regulates your body metabolism, energy, and body temperature, and so much more. Without your thyroid, you would be in deep trouble. <laughs> And then on to one of my favorites that helps me be a ha happy camper every month is PDA20. It helps support our endocrine system, especially our, um, our hormonal system. It contains the pregnenolone and DHA, um, which are two substances that are produced naturally by the body that actually decline with age. Um, so pregnenolone is the key precursor for the body's production of estrogen. So this is going to help uh, balance our estrogen levels. Um, it's got the DHEA. It's also going to help with our progesterone levels and um, has a great impact on our mental 
acuity and memory. The DHEA, as we know, is also involved in maintaining the health of our cardiovascular and immune system. Uh, so this is one that I really, really like taking every month. Then another big favorite of mine uh, is mineral essence. And let, as Patty likes to say, we call this the spark plug. <laughs> and they literally have shown how you, they, they can take mineral essence and put wires in it and light up a light bulb. I mean, it really does. And uh, it supports a healthy immune system with an, a balanced ionic mineral complex. And this is uh, enhanced with oils. And you can see uh, the ingredients there on the left side. Um, it, this is just a powerful, powerful supplement. I know when my husband has always been an athlete and works out a lot, and he's just not a happy camper if he's not working out. And he loses a lot of minerals because he sweats a lot, and he'll get prone to have leg cramps. And if he doesn't take this every day like he should, then it will hit him at the worst time, like usually in the middle of the night. And he can take a dropper of that and it will stop in less than a minute. It will just totally get rid of that leg cramp. So it's a really powerful, powerful mineral complex and I highly recommend you try it. It does taste a little strong and I like to drink it with my Ninja Red and sometimes I'll mix it with Ninja Red, Mind Wise and the Mineral Essence. And I usually take four dropper fulls when I take this um, some days, if I've, if I've been really good about taking it every day, I might only do three, but as with everybody else, sometimes I forget because it's sitting in the fridge. It's not sitting with my rest of my stuff. So if I forget, then when I take it, I always do four dropper fulls. but this is a powerful, powerful supplement that I really, really love. That's how we, we do it every day with MindWise, the Mineral Essence, Ninja Red. And then you can always add your Indiflex Vitality oil in with it because uh, the Indiflex is going to help, you know, again, endo, endocrine system, uh, it's going to help support our endocrine system. And it has a wonderful array of essential oils in it that are good for our endocrine system, both our thyroid, our adrenals, our um, hormones, the pituitary pineal, sage, geranium, Myrtle, nutmeg, geranium, uh, German chamomile are um, the essential oils that you'll find in this regimen. They recommend you know putting it in a glass of water or juice, but you're going to be taking your Ninja Red anyway, so why not just go ahead and put it in your Ninja Red and take it? Works for me. And then we have our topical Indoflex, which is literally the same oil, but it's in our other labeled bottle, not the Vitality bottle. And this is great for, to use topically. So I like to put it on the thyroid as well as over the adrenal glands. So just topically. Um, you could also put it on the bottom of the feet in the areas that those organs are represented and get that into your body that way. And again, you can see the great oils that are in it. It's the same oil, just uh, one's a topical bottle and the other one's a vitality bottle. Don't you love it? Cedarwood. Um, what better oil to have for our hypothalamus, pituitary, and pineal glands that are in our brain, but an oil that is high in sesquiterpenes. And sesquiterpenes, if you guys remember, are those oils that are uh, chemical constituent and oils that helps uh, the oil break the blood brain barrier. So this is a great brain oil. Uh, it's very calming. It helps, um, it helps our natural melatonin. And um, I love putting this one on my pillow, feet, in the diffuser, on top of the crown of the head or on the brain stem. There's really nowhere that you can go wrong with uh, cedar wood. It just helps quiet the mind so that you can have a restful sleep. And while our body's at rest, it can repair. Yeah, I love, I use that one every night when I go to bed. And then we have energy. Uh, this is a, a blend of oils that are very stimulating and help to restore mental alertness. They can, it can uplift and strengthen the mind as it promotes mental energy. And when you have mental energy, you have physical energy. The oils that are in it are rosemary, juniper, lemongrass, nutmeg, Idaho balsam, fir, clove, and black pepper. Again, this is a great one to use topically. 
Uh, I like to just smell it, um, put it on my energy points. I can put it on the adrenals again, on the bottom of the feet, anywhere it feels appropriate to you, just go for it. Experiment with it and see how you like it. Enjoy. And then two other great oils, um, are our brain power, which has a lot of oils that are high in sesquiterpenes, our sandalwood and frankincense. So it's going to help, you know, us be clear and focused. Um, again, this one, I just like to smell it or, you know, apply it to the brain stem. Again, experiment. And then clarity is one of my favorites. I really like diffusing this one when I'm working or doing things that I'm needing a clear, clear mind. Um, one of my what well, actually it's become one of my favorites and then lemongrass this has a really subtle citrus herb scent and it offers a sophisticated relaxing aroma that transforms your environment uh, you can use it for an aroma that can inspire a sense of clarity as well as relaxation for you and your whole family uh, it's it can make a great complement to a post workout massage, and it's also a key ingredient in several other Young Living products like the Energy Ortho Ease Massage Oil and Ortho Sport Massage Oil. This is a fabulous oil. Um, do a little Google search on lemongrass and find some of the benefits of of lemongrass, and you it, it's just amazing. And then we have the Vitality. Yep, and lemongrass Vitality again. Same oil, different label, um, but it helps support our uh, wellness when taken as a dietary supplement. So you, know, you could put it in a, a capsule, uh, you could add it to a drink, uh, you could even make some soup with it. You know, think of the soup soups that have lemongrass in them. Uh, it's also an ingredient that's found in our Diagize, Essential Zyme 4, and Multi Green capsules. Then we have other supplements that are all vitality supplements, tangerine, frankincense, basil, vital, uh, lemon. I just really suggest that do Google searches on all of the vitality oils and see what the benefits of these oils are to, uh, to what's been researched because you know we can't tell you all that, but you can certainly go look it up. And, um, all of these, you'll see valerian, lavender, rutabala, uh, these are all great to help ground us and calm us and help us uh, with a restful sleep, just quieting the mind and the body uh, so that it, you know, you can get some rest from all the stress. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's all of our uh, slides for today. And we just want to thank you all for coming tonight. I know this was a really lengthy presentation. We want to thank Shannon Hudson for sharing her slides with us. Um, and there's tons of information in here. So if you, if you want to go back and get more of those details on some of those earlier slides with all the science in them, uh, certainly you'll be able to watch the recording as we post it on our team page. And, um, you know, you can go at your own pace and pause it and take notes, do whatever. But we just want to thank you all for coming. We got one more week of hormone talks next Tuesday night, and it'll be about the pancreas. So that's everything to do with nice, healthy blood sugar levels. So hope you'll join us then. And um, I want to say thank you, and I'm sure Patty will bid you adieu as well. Thank you, and have a wonderful evening. Boil up. Yeah. <laughs>